Okay, adding on to our UI table view demo here, we're going to uh, add a header to each section in our table. And also, I wanted to um, show you something I, I was going to. I should have showed you in the last video was uh, that to show you how to customize the number of rows in a section. So uh, for this example, first we're going to just pretend like uh, there's not three elements for every array. So in, in this example for number of rows in section, we're returning three every time, assuming that each array has three elements. So I'm taking one of them, I'm taking uh, two elements out of language client side, because really JavaScript is the only language for client side, right? And so now we need to customize how we, de how we determine how many numbers of rows there are in each section. So what we'll do is we'll check each of those arrays. Um, so we'll say if uh, section is equal to zero, and then we're just gonna we're going to return uh, server side dot count, which gives us a count of the number elements in the array there. And else if it's one, and we'll take a look at our client side languages. And finally, if it is our mobile, we'll take a look at our mobile languages. It's going to require us to return something. So if it doesn't hit uh, any of those, it's not section 0, 1, or 2. I'm not sure what section it really is. Obviously the the uh, logic is going to get a little more complicated. Uh, and it's launching very slowly. <laughs> so. We can see we've got uh, PHP, JavaScript, Python. That's our server side. Then we have one uh, languages for client side. And then we have Swift, Kotlin, Java for our mobile languages there. Uh, what about each section? Well, don't we want to identify each section at some point? Well, we can uh, override a, a, a method called title for header and section. And this is just going to return a string that's displayed inside of the header. And again, just like the, the uh, UI table view cell, we can customize the heck out of the uh, table headers as well, se section headers as well. Um, this very first, more simple example though, let's say if it's zero, we'll display um, actually, I'm going to set up a Title and I'll set title equal to server side languages and I'll do this for each array client side and mobile. need to return a string. So you can see uh, it just returns a string. Again, title for header and section. And this is going to create a uh, section label. And let's take a look at it. Now, as you can imagine, like the logic for these, it's going to be a lot more complicated than what we're doing now. Um, you know, maybe it's more dynamic. Maybe it's, uh, you know, we're going to have to take a look at UI table view cell. And typically, there's multiple values in here. Um, we might have to change the way we interact with it, uh, what happens when we click on it, and whatnot. So, a uh, little more to look at, but that's basically how to display a tab UI table view and uh, kind of a default UI table view cell. And uh, at this point in this video, we've added our section headers and we modified it so that our number of rows in section returns a dynamic value based on the number of elements in our array.